Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Mr. Matt Biscuits, and I'm starting a new series. It's still Youth Academy Heroes, but it's extreme. So what makes this one extreme? Well, playing on Ultimate, this will not change for the entirety of this series. Also, I have adjusted the sliders to make gameplay a little more smooth and flowing and not as cancerous. As you can see, pass error and shot error have been increased, as well as injury frequency, but injury severity has been decreased. And increased goalkeeper ability, and a few other little tweaks here and there. First touch has, error has been increased to 60 as well and I did that for both myself and the CPU so if you are interested in my values for the sliders I will put them in the description down below as you can see we're at the beginning of the season in July 2019 I sim through the first season to collect a squad of youth players in regards to the scouts, um, I would have gotten three one star one stars, but I needed a French one. So French one's four star four star, and they are currently active. They're searching for players for me, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So another reason this one is extreme Youth Academy Heroes is the Youth Academy itself. So I am only allowed to have 11 players at any given time in this youth academy but not just any 11 players they have to be playing in a position in my current formation so right now I'm playing a 4-3-3 I am allowed one goalkeeper one right wing one left wing one striker three central midfielders two center backs a left back and a right back so that's how that's gonna go for the entirety of this series as well and I think it should be fun it'll limit the possibilities for the youth academy you have to actually put effort in to sign in good players also forgot to mention with the scouts I have to pick a player type so I can't just do any for three months I have to specifically search for a type of player every time but once a year with one scout I can send them anywhere and that should help bring in a few more exciting players outside of Europe and stuff so it should be pretty great right now we're just gonna take a quick look through the squad to you know get acquainted with the new players the new faces you know so first off we're gonna start with our goalkeepers Philippe Dufresne Dufresne, sorry, the weird name. Overall of 52, he's currently out on loan. We have Cedric Dijkstra, overall of 53. Yannick Mele, overall of 53. And Arthur Bernard, overall of 65. Into our outfielders now, we've got Julian Castel, overall of 63. Stefan Balcour, overall of 54, currently on loan. Lucas Rodriguez, overall of 60. Philippe Vallée, overall of 56. Sebastian Balcour, overall of 57. Romain Leblanc, overall of 48. Louis van der Velde, overall of 45. Aurelien Balcour, overall of 60. Frank Hoekstra, overall of 49. Marvin de Graaf, overall of 49, currently on loan. Olivier Garnier, overall of 54. Thibaut Sambia, overall of 58. Antoine Beaumont, overall of 55. Arnaud Milo, overall of 54. This guy's a real player. We won't worry about him. We're trying to sell him. Jeremy Perrault, whipping out the French accent, overall of 49. Mathis Lemont, overall of 41. I'm 48. Jeez, sorry mate, currently on loan. 
Maicon Sampaio Moutinho, that's a name, overall of 62. Thomas Belcourt, overall of 63. Cedric Ferrier, overall of 55. Simon Perrault, overall of 49. Sebastian Payard, overall of 59. Ludovic Bernard, overall of 54. Ludovic Gautier, overall of 59. Benjamin Moser, overall of 61. And Gilles Leconte, overall of 48. That is our entire squad. At the moment, obviously this will change as the series goes on. We'll bring in new players, sell current players, etc, etc. But this is the squad at the moment. As far as transfers go, we picked up three players out of the free agents list, which are Thibaut Sambia, Maicon Sampaio Moutinho, and Lucas Rodriguez. Very good players. Sl slotted right into my first team. Really needed the extra boost because we have to fight for fight for promotion this season and it's gonna be a tough one unfortunately though you guys are gonna have to wait until episode two to witness the first game of the season being played until then i hope you guys are excited leave a like subscribe comment hit that bell for notifications and i'll see you guys in episode two peace